Hey Tubers, welcome back for another adventure. And the adventure I'd like is I want to finish up the adventure on the $300 deal. The 1986 and 1987 TRX 250s. And the question is, for $300, how did I do? And the only person who could define that, quite honestly, is me. If I take this engine that seems to have compression and I take it apart and I sell the jug piece here, right, and I get 150 bucks for it, so now all I have invested in these two is 150 bucks, right, and then I pull the rear end out of one of them and sell that for $150, now I have zero invested. So, if I were a parts selling kind of person, right, I would be in fairly good shape. But that's not why I bought them. Quite honestly, the reason why I bought them is they were supposed to be one complete 250X. This one. With four almost new tires on it. Well, it's got four decent tires on it, but they're nowhere near new. And once again, it's not a 250X. What I was after was a 250X. The second thing I was hoping for, quite honestly, when I saw the two of these, especially this one with the cover all intact, that one I had my doubts when I first looked at it, but when I looked at this one, I thought, the possibility of the starter being there and functional was pretty good. Well, the starter's there and it functions, but the gears don't drive the motor because the gears aren't there. So, I don't know. I'm did I to be honest with you, I'm I'm a little disappointed in the deal. Um but when I lean up against that disappointment and say, "Okay, you're disappointed, what what I'm disappointed in, quite honestly, is for any price, they really weren't what I wanted them to be. I wanted them to be 250X parts, and if they weren't 250X parts, what I wanted them to be was 4-track 250, one nice running machine, and one, y you know parts machine what I got was two half running <laughs> machines I mean they both start they both run they both move but this one pours oil out like no tomorrow and once again the starting gears shot and this one doesn't leak any oil but it's somewhat of a smoker and it's not it doesn't have starting gears also you know the uh, missing uh, it's missing some parts <laughs> it's missing that front strut and it's missing or the uh, front connecting link and it's missing the um, the back shock One could take these two bikes, though, with the racks you have and the pieces you have and everything else. One could very easily put together one good running bike. And I guess from that point of view, perhaps 300 isn't too bad. But to put a running bike together and to sell it, it wouldn't be the prettiest thing in the world. Maybe it'd be like a six seven hundred dollar bike call it a six hundred and fifty dollar bike right um and you still got to come up with those gears though the gears i was looking at them last night the gears that go in here you're you're looking at all of a hundred dollars um maybe even a touch more i think i think the bigger one was 60 and I think 
the um, the other two gears and that spacer thing and all were another 60 to 70 so maybe a hundred and a quarter to a hundred and fifty dollars those uh, that's that's some not not so cheap stuff um, so how do I feel about this I keep getting back it's not what I wanted right it, it's it's not the 250x parts that I wanted or the 250x running and one for parts that I wanted which I could have used the frame with the VIN number over there and I could have got the other one with its VIN number running and it would have been all legit and all um, so it wasn't that and it wasn't like one of these running in really pretty nice condition um, you know, more or less ready to go. I'm, I'm, I personally, did I do okay on the deal? Yeah, I got more than $300 worth of parts easily. I mean, the tires are, are you know, worth, those tires, all four of them are, are worth $100. Once again, the rear end's worth over 100 bucks. You know, the carburetor's worth something, the starter's worth something, the top half of the engine's, you, you know, worth over a hundred bucks. So, I I did okay from a accumulating parts point of view, but I, it's not what I wanted, and that's that. Um... I bring a lot of these deals in. Uh, these things are always coming in. You, you know, I have have another couple of them outside. This one here has a um, has a transmission problem, so I can I can pull one of the engines. It seems to have the gears for the starter and all that other stuff. So quite honestly, I can use one of those engines over here to get this guy running. Um, it's got its gas tank um, so you, you know that's that's not a bad thing there's another one over here somewhere right there and I believe this one has low compression plus you can see the rear ends taken apart um, so quite honestly this one here is another one that I can use parts from to, to put it together so I've I've not done badly from from that point of view, but um, I, I will admit I'm disappointed in the deal. Not that I want to uh, highlight any other deals, but that um, that bike that eight uh, quad that uh, Kevin gave me, Kevin Bergeron. Um, by the way, go check out his channel. Um, he's doing. Good things with uh, two-stroke type motors, plus you, you know reviews on some Harbor Freight stuff. I mean, he's he's got the assortment pack going on over there. So go check him out. Go enjoy his assortment pack of videos. And once again, he's a he's a real good guy. Real, he's a friend of uh, of the horde here, and he's uh, he's buddies with uh, with Musty One. So go visit with him. Anyway, um, I did start ordering parts for the other one, so that'll that'll be a put together project. Rather than spending all kinds of time putting these together, um, I'd rather put together that four by four. Um, not that a Yamaha is my thing necessarily, but um, I just as soon figure out as quickly as possible what the story on that is, and then um, I can make a decision whether um, to keep it or to try to get out of it for what I put out in parts. If I tie up, let's say, I don't know, somewhere around $300 in parts and the whole thing doesn't work out for me, I could probably um, take it that I have no investment in, it was a gift, and the $300 I put into parts and then sell the whole thing for $300 and, and get out in one piece. So, um, you know, that's just the number I'm throwing out there, 300. I don't think I have all the parts ordered yet. So there we are. When you are out looking at these things to buy them, 
just remember <laughs> what you got what you get is what you got it's not like you can bring them back or anything else and make sure you know exactly what you want what your plans are what you want what you're thinking um, I was thinking I needed parts for a uh, 250x and I ended up bringing parts for bringing two entire quads home for 250 and each quad is itself another whole project um, not really what I was after doing so I kind of uh, you know heat of the moment you know got a deal want to close the deal the deal is a good deal it's a hot deal it's you, you know it's it's you, you know can't walk away from a you, you know a bargain and uh, what I have is two more things to take up a lot of space okay everyone I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing please remember to keep your feet down keep your heads up and get out there and buy some more of these things you're leaving too many behind for me to buy and it's putting me broke bye now